Hey guys, I recently organized my ink samples, which is something I've always wanted to do but never got around to. So I wanted to document the process and hopefully it'll be a fun video. I really enjoyed swatching the inks onto the dot stickers. I just love seeing the sheen. The ones I'm using are removable, so they do not stick 100%. But it doesn't bother me too much because I'll be reusing the ink files anyway. I just found these at my local Dollarama in Toronto. They are 3 quarter inch diameter in case you're looking for the size. The ink trays are from Amazon and I'll link it in the description. It was a very fun and relaxing process. Seeing all the inks organized by color was very, very, very satisfying. I asked myself why I didn't do this sooner. So guys, do it, don't wait. Okay, wait until after you finish watching this video. But although I used a vial holder for storing the ink files, there are many other options to organize your sample inks. You can also use an ammo box or a vial box with lid which is also available on Amazon and AliExpress. Um, I was so close to buying that but instead opted to get the vial holder um, because I, it held more vial inks than the box. Um, so I'll link it down below so you can check it out and decide what works best for you. If you have any other ideas for organizing sample inks please leave it in the comments. I've also watched a ton of ink organizing videos that helped me decide and I'll link it down below as well because they did really help me. And yay, look at all the labeled ink samples. Instant gratification. I couldn't wait to organize them into the tray but I had to wait a week for them to arrive from Amazon USA. Um, here I'm actually having a bit of a trouble sliding um, the trays in because the one I got was a bit stiff and it was really tough uh, to actually push it all the way in so I actually had to stop the video and check out a Ghoulie Pen video where Brian did um, do a video explaining how to put together one of these trays but I finally figured it out and I just had to push really hard which I didn't want to break the plastic um, but Here's the fun part, organizing the colors. I didn't pay too much attention to the tone or hue of the color. I just basically grouped them by color similarity. Here's somewhat of a sped up video. It really only took about two minutes, but the end result is a beautiful flat lay of dot swatches. You can also code the swatches by numbers and keep a number swatch system in your ink journal, but that was a bit too tedious for me. This was definitely a very fun process to do and I basically just took a Saturday morning and spent some time labeling everything and it was so fun and now I really want to get more ink samples um, just so I can experience that again but um, I don't know if I'll be adding or buying a second tray because I think they are stackable if I'm not mistaken um, but I also want to try getting one of those ammo boxes um, but I'm not sure yet as you can see I still have some room left on the tray so I'll decide later but there it is it is completely finished and um, I'm so excited because I can just easily um, put it into my journaling or fountain pen cabinet and call it a day Thank you so much for watching. I actually think I inked up about 40 vials in here and the tray holds 50. So guys, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.